this week, Patana says presented their budgets for the financial 2023-2024. Statistics indicate that women and children are the majority in all the ESC Patana states. However, questions have been posed as to whether the budgets are responsive to the needs of women and children in the region. Akinamamoa Africa, a regional civil society organization, has tasked the women legislators to ensure that budgets are responsive to women and children. That's the kind of budget we want for the region is a budget that works for everyone, and that in the SDG language leaves no one behind. Because in many ways, we know that for some of the communities that we work with, especially with women and girls across the region, are often the furthest behind. Addressing the Women Caucus of the East African Legislative Assembly in Arusha, Tanzania, the Speaker Joseph Funtakirutimana tasked the women legislators to ensure that they mainstream gender in budgeting for the people of East Africa. He explained that the ESC would not attain its objectives of a people-centered community until obstacles that hinder effective participation of women in leadership are dealt away with. For the ESC to attain a people-centered driving community, there is a need to remove all obstacles that hinder effective participation of the women and the girls as well as unleash their full potential. Currently, the regional legislators are scrutinizing 103 million US dollar ESC budget, which is expected to be passed by the assembly next week. Relate the budget to the policy framework interrogate issues of resource allocation, interrogate issues of transparency and accountability, interrogate issues of planning. Yes, the challenge is ours. We have got the knowledge. We have understood the models that they have taken us through. And now it's an opportunity to us to, to look at that gender lens when uh, whatever, in whatever we do at the community, when we are doing our, when we are doing our oversight activities, that if any ESC institution or organ, its gender is not does not reflect the gender responsiveness, we shouldn't accept it. Currently, the assembly hosts 26 women legislators out of the total 63 members of parliament. But if you want to see the ambitions of any community look at their budget, to tell the true story of what they want to achieve. And indeed, when you look at the budget of the East African community, you see that we continue to reinforce the biases against women. That budget is gender insensitive. The future of EOC lies in the contribution of the women. Uh, not because they are women, but it is because of the role they play right from the family level through the, uh, through the local communities up to the national level. Uganda is represented by four women, Jacqueline Amongini, Veronica Kadago, Mary Mojenyi, and Rosa Ko. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.